Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we have what I would call my very favorite laptop ever made. It's the Lenovo T430. It's to me, it's one of the best laptops ever made. I am not gonna bullshit about it, but the problem we have with it right now is the locked BIOS because you know when you buy cheap and used, that's what happens. And uh, I paid ten dollars for it. Well, let's see if we can enter the stupid BIOS. I think it's F1 that you enter BIOS here. Enter in setup, and as you see, it requires a password that we don't have. And uh, with these laptops, you don't want to mess around too much when it comes to BIOS because it can lock you out. Well, today, we're going to attempt to remove that BIOS password by a few maneuvers here which will be actually very easy and uh, by the end of this video hopefully we will manage to take that stupid bios password away and have our laptop to our own so we can update the bios version and all that stuff first of all we take the battery out and yes this is the version that has a sim card inside and all that shit so let's uh do the second thing on this one, remove the cover here where the RAM sits, that's where the BIOS battery is as well. And here we go, and the line of action is right under this uh, CMOS battery, I hope you can see it. So what do we do, first take this battery out, sometimes it has some uh, adhesive on it, some glue, we take that out, and uh, let me take the CMOS battery itself out of the laptop and here we have a lot of work to do first we have to remove this cover yes there is a cover right here that I will just brutally remove out of here and uh, let's try it this way I'm not sure if you guys can see what I'm doing here, but I'm uh, trying to remove this part of this uh, sticker right here. And for this next part, we need some uh, alcohol. I'm just using this uh, isopropyl alcohol. Nothing special, 91%, is we need to remove the adhesive in this area. And now uh, let's go into it and try to do it. Looks like it's removing it good. And here is our two connectors that we need to contact or short in order to make this work. Can I zoom in more to make sense? No. I will zoom out just a little bit. Okay. So this video quality will be very brutal. But what we need to do right here is to make contact between these two tiny thingies. There's a... Uh, if you see these uh, four connectors right here, see how they come in as, uh, oh, what is that? There is one, two, there's the first one, second one, that's one of our connectors, three, four, and the fifth one is the other connector that we need. This one and this one. These two is what we need. Uh, I don't know if that makes it a little bit easier for you guys to see, but pretty much we have to short these two while we click to enter the BIOS. Once the screen starts, you know, when you boot up, when the screen just starts, you shorten these two, and voila, that's how it works. Let me zoom out now. 
I will post pictures, don't worry about it. Of how I'm doing this one and what's happening on the background, if you don't see the whole thing right now. But uh, you have to plug it. You have to plug the uh, power supply and not the battery. To do this one, no battery. Only with a power supply. So let's open it up. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do this one with tilting it because I have to put it towards myself and I unfortunately cannot tilt the camera that good towards you guys. Uh, let me see if I can do this one. And here we are inside the BIOS. Whew. Be very careful at this point. Do not disconnect the power and do not turn off the uh, laptop because we're going to do a few changes before we pop in the battery or anything else. And do not, I repeat, <clears throat> do not restart at this point. So what we're going to do right now, since we're inside BIOS, as you see, it's not asking for the password anymore. We go to uh, security. We go to password. Uh, we do go here. We go here. We go disabled. And uh, supervisor password. We enter. And enter a new password. Enter a new password. I'll tell you why. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Enter. Changes have been saved. Now we have a new password, right? Let's go uh, here. Password, password at unattended boot. Disabled. Password restart disabled. And uh, at this point, let's get out again. Let's go to uh, exit saving changes like yes let it restart now let's go to settings again real time clock error we know that we put the password we just made right one two three four five six seven eight nine enter and it says okay we are going into the settings and at this point, let's exit saving changes. Let's close it up. Disconnect the power. And let's put everything back in. Because at this point, we already have a password. Let's plug in the battery. Right here. Close it up. Let's put back the caddy. Okay. It's closed up. Uh, we will put this battery back in, flip it up, and uh, we are ready to go now. We have a BIOS password all to ourselves, and uh, let's see here, yep, the light came on, let's turn it back on, go to F1, yeah, we know that, okay. Password one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It says okay. Whew. Let's get to the bio stuff right now. Okay, let's go to uh, date and time. Date and time will be. And get back to the boot menu. And now we have a BIOS password. Did you hear that? We have a BIOS password for a $10 laptop that was left to die. That nobody thought it would work again, so <laughs> it worked for us. I have Windows 11 on it, as you will see here in a second. Believe it or not, uh, Envy is just a name that I put on it, so don't worry about that. And here it goes.
It's a beautiful laptop. We go to info, system information, and uh, as you see, everything is working. 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, the old i5 third generation CPU is still rocking. And everything works. And yes, if you're wondering, the battery, if I remove the cable, still works. Yes, on battery power. Uh, where is it? Right here. Here it is. I have 14% remaining, but I don't really need it right now because I didn't charge it. So we go to power. We go shut down. And here it is. You just removed the BIOS and made a beautiful laptop. To me, T430 is the icon of a beautifully made laptop. I truly like this laptop personally and uh, I suggest if you find one for 10 20 bucks somewhere that's uh, BIOS locked you know what to do with the BIOS now you got a picture what to do with the BIOS and uh, with that said we'll see you next time and thank you for watching I hope you learned something and I hope you find a beauty like this one for yourself see you next time bye Look at me, I'm